Arriving off such a chaotic flight, I'm grateful to have a sense of order back in life, even if the airport does have a bit of a post-apocalyptic vibe going on. I'm on a train to the city about 20 minutes after getting off the plane, which I'm genuinely impressed with. This is something Australian customs could never do. Although on the way I managed to kill a train ticket, I think my AirPod case wiped the magnetic strip on it, so I just kind of stood there and had an awkward conversation with someone to try and get out of gate and buy a new ticket. Get to the hostel and have a nice time sitting there waiting for check-in until this guy sits next to me and starts chain smoking. Check-in done, go for a wander and surprisingly feel pretty okay considering the amount of time I've just spent on planes, um, and stumble across Sacre Claire. Uh, and the view, which is actually pretty flat and boring. Jet lag ends up catching up with me, have a lazy dinner, and uh, start on day two. I have a timed entry for the Eiffel Tower at 12, so wandering through this park and driven by my urge to go up tall things, I try to go up this tower thing, which is closed for some reason. I don't know why. Past the science center, which has all the services on the outside, and kind of shows you how it all comes together, which I think is pretty cool. And by the time I'm at Notre Dame, uh, I'm feeling a bit short of time, so I get a scooter. Um, I love these things, honestly. I, I know the French are thinking of getting rid of them because they are literal litter all over their nice city. Uh, but for a tourist, they're amazing. Plus, every city seems to have two completely different companies offering them, so I basically used free trials for the whole trip. Uh, get there with plenty of time in the end, in fairness. And I'm greeted by this kind of ominous message about the view. Head up, and it's okay, in fairness. Uh, but if you really want to see the view, you can probably find something better than what my iPhone can take. Rain starts coming in, so I jump on this boat that goes up and down the river. The audio guide situation is weird. There is headphones, which don't work, but there is also a web version, which didn't seem to match what was actually going on. And then they also just announced some parts. Needless to say, I was, I was very confused. After the boat, the rain luckily mostly clears up. Go up to the Arc de Triomphe and there is people literally lining up in the middle of the road. Like, you have a deaf wish for your fucking Instagram photo. Rain comes back in, I hightail it to the metro, I have a pizza, you know. That's it. Don't you want 